What's up my fellow entrepreneurs? Steven Bear here, Mammoth Lakes, California, chasing another storm. Um, you know, things are heavy right now in this world. It's 2022, we're about to enter 2023. Um, and I'll, I'll be honest, I'm struggling. Uh, definitely, I don't know about you or your family members, but brain fog, that's a real thing. Uh, it's sort of slowed me down and I think slowed a lot of people down, but um, I just want to encourage you to keep, you know, keep grinding, keep pressing, keep moving forward one step at a time. You know, we, we really don't have any other option but to keep putting one foot in front of the other and doing our absolute best to get out there as entrepreneurs, make customers love us grow our brands, grow our businesses, and just take every moment as an opportunity, a God-given gift that is just, we, we don't even, every moment is an opportunity and it's a gift from God to do something great, to help people. I mean, entrepreneurship is not about making money. All of you out there who, who think it's just about money, that's called business, that's called, um, exploitation taking advantage of people you know dishonest gain uh, unbalanced scales you know these are just uh, uh, things that people do to acquire wealth and life and there's a lot of unfair advantage out there there's a lot of people you know unlike me who grew up in the projects who you know have an advantage they have connections they have better educations they have more financial resources and you know what else? They, they understand the system. They understand how the game is played. So if you're an entrepreneur like me and you don't have that kind of a background, I just want to encourage you to fight. Put everything that you have into your business. And what I mean by that is put everything that you have into your customers. Your customers are what drive your business. They're what make it successful. It's not like 1990s and 80s where you just run advertising and if a customer has a bad experience, nobody ever finds out about it because they're not calling up the, lo the Better Business Bureau to check on a company. They're just going to your store or calling your business for a service or whatever you, whatever you did and there's no transparency. Everything in this world is about digital. Everything is transparent. They, people can see who you are, what you're about and you know what there's even ways to cheat on that and people do it and businesses do it all the time you know think about amazon fake reviews if you if you go to amazon to buy a product you know you sort of have to dig and figure out which of these reviews are, are were paid for or incentivized in some way and which reviews are legitimate so now instead of going to amazon to find out about a product you're going to reddit or you're going to other uh sources to you know double check because you can't even trust online reviews um the same with the service business you know family friends you know people can there's a lot of different ways to get fake reviews out there so if you're an honest person if you're running an honest business with integrity and you want to do things the right way i hate to break it to you but the deck is absolutely stacked against you and you're at an unfair advantage it's an unlevel playing field there's no question about it so you have to work twice as hard you have to believe in yourself and believe in your company and do the right thing and grow your company